Zealand, we are home to lots of native birds, more specifically the kidadoo. Despite the size, they are not territorial birds, although they will defend their food if another male is around. When mating is in place, the male shows off by flying into the air, clapping his wings and flying down to the ground with his tail spread. Where pigeons have a very unique colour, the upper body parts of an adult kidadoo are bluey green, with a purple bronze shine on the neck, mantle and coverts of the wings. Their bellies are white and their bill colour can vary from a rich red to a pale orange. As well as that, their feet and eyes are a crimson red colour. The chicks have a duller fluff and often the white chest is a smudgy cream colour. Their beautiful feathers help them blend into their natural habitat, making them unseen. Kidadoos are usually found at the top of the trees. Kidadoos have a wide range of forest habitats, including the second growth native forests, small forest remnants and exotic plantations. They also occur in farmland shelter belts, urban parks and suburban gardens. Thankfully, deforestation doesn't affect kidadoos as much as other birds because of how large their habitat is. They are widely spread from Northland to Stewart Island and some offshore islands that have native bush, where they gather in moderate sized feeding flocks from 20 to 50 and rarely over 100. They feed on buds, leaves, flowers and fruits from a wide variety of species, both native and exotic. While most foods are taken while clambering about on vines, shrubs and trees, kidadoos sometimes spend their time on the ground feeding on clover and possibly other herbs. While ripe fruit seems to be the preferred fruit, in some regions fruit is not available all year round. And so then kidadoo then feed on leaves. Important leaf sources include those of kofi, willow, poplars and elms. As expected, kidadoos also have predators. More specifically, introduced animals like ship rats, stoats and possums. Collisions with fast moving vehicles, overhead power, telephone wires, electrocution when perched on some power poles, and illegal hunting are also some common threats. Predators will raid nests and eat the eggs inside. The nests are normally made of the dead twigs where a single egg is laid. But don't worry, because when nests get destroyed by predators or weather, they tend to rebuild in a week or two. 